हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम क्लास फोर टू योर ई लर्निंग कंप्यूटर क्लास प्रीवियस क्लास आई डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री टास्क पेट चैप्टर इज कंप्लीटेड एंड बुक एक्सरसाइज आल्सो कंप्लीटेड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर एडिटिंग टेक्स्ट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड टू प्रीवियस क्लास You studied Microsoft Word 2010. Here we will learn in this chapter we will learn how to edit text in Microsoft Word 2010. Before that we should know how to start Microsoft Word 2010. How to open? How to start that Microsoft Word 2010? We should know that to open Microsoft Word 2010. First you have to click the Start button. First you have to click the Start button. When you click the Start button, under the Start button, there are menu will appear. Then you just click Microsoft Office. We click the Microsoft Office, and when we click the Microsoft Office, there is another sub menu will appear. There you just click Microsoft Word 2010. When we click the Microsoft Word 2010, you can see this type of window will open. This is the window of Microsoft Word 2000. Ten. This is the window of Microsoft Word 2010. When we click the Microsoft Word 2010, this type of window will appear on the screen. Okay, you will see the blank document of MS Word 2010 ten as given below. You can see the blank document. You just click the blank document. It has been named Document One. When you click the blank document, you can see the Document One. If when you click the blank document, this type of window will open. This name always will be document one in title bar. This is the window of Microsoft Word. This is name is first when you will open. You always you can see in the title bar document one. You always when you will shape the document, you will give a name. Still you don't save. You can see in title bar document one. Okay, and now this is. Called Quick Access Toolbar. This is called Quick Access Toolbar, and then this portion is called Ribbon. This portion is called Ribbon. In under of the Ribbon, there are the different tools and menus are there. And next is the Title Bar. Top of the window, this is called Title Bar. We can see the title. When you save the document, what name you will give? And that name you can see on the title bar. Here, when you first will open, you can see document one. Okay, and this portion in total window is called application window. In this total window is called application window, and which portion we write only? This portion is called document window. Total is called application window. And inside the application window, which part we use for writing? This portion is called document window. Okay, this is called document window. And here to scale, this is the here is the one ruler. This is the vertical ruler and horizontal ruler. This is the horizontal and this is vertical. This is a ruler. And here is the vertical scroll bar. And the horizontal scroll bar. This is called scroll bar, and this is. We can using through the scroll bar, we can move the page up and down through the vertical scroll bar, and the using the horizontal scroll bar, we can move the page left and right. Okay, and this is called status bar. Status bar, and when you will write in the document window, you can see a cursor, vertical. Small bar, vertical small bar blinking. Okay, it is called cursor. Cursor it shows the position of the text. When it is a blank, now it is blank. Show cursor is waiting in the first row in the first line, and when you type, your cursor is there. That means your position position is there. Cursor shows the position of the text. Okay. Next there is the navigation pan. Entering the text. How to entering the text? By default, when you open the Microsoft Word 2010 as a document, by default the blank document that you have opened 
in of white color always it will be white color by default it is white in color you can change the color also okay a blinking vertical line is displayed which is called cursor i already told this is called cursor this is a vertical blinking bar it is called small bar it is called a small line it is as called cursor and it moves forward backward according to the requirement you can move the cursor anywhere of the screen okay it shows the position where you are where you can start typing i already told it is it shows the position where you can start typing okay the cursor moves the right as you type when you type when you type anything you can see the cursor will move in the right side your right side cursor will move okay and when you come to the end of the line when you come to the end of the line and enter is not placed then the content which cannot fit in one line will automatically move suppose you are typing as typing a uh, letter and when you typing a sentence maybe your sentence is not fit in a single line automatically you will just type and automatically the line your cursor will come to the next line it is called word wrapping it is called word wrapping okay and not fit one line will automatically move to the next line okay this is called word wrapping word wrapping and you can press the enter key to insert a new line suppose you completed one sentence here you want to start the next line from the next uh, sentence from the next line you have to press the enter key okay editing the text after typing the text first you just type normal typing okay normal type after typing the text when you read it you may find some mistake you may find some mistake or your you might want to make change in the text and definitely if you have the any you have any mistake on your text obviously you have to change it making changes in the text is doc, is a, in a document is called editing what is called editing what do you mean by editing making changes in the text making changes in the text in a document is called editing okay is called editing and next before performing any function like editing moving copying deleting finding replacing word or a group of word maybe you can replace any word you can replace any full sentence you can delete one word one sentence one character anything you can erase copy paste replacing finding deleting the text we need to select the text if you want to do anything of the text you first you have to select the portion suppose you want to delete one sentence that sentence first you have to select that sentence suppose you want to replace any word so first you have to select the word okay before editing anything first you have to select the portion okay selecting the text how to select that is by clicking the mouse we can select through the keyboard we can select let's see the how to select through the mouse using the mouse how to Uh, select the text start start dragging the mouse over the text you want to select start drag dragging from where you want to select keep your mouse pointer over there and press the left mouse button holding and dragging and dragging means pressing and holding the left mouse button and they start moving the mouse from the beginning of the text till the end of the text that you want to select okay still you have to drag the portion still you want to select and this release the left mouse button then you release the left mouse button okay then the portion will be selected how to understand that this portion is selected color will be changed from the other text okay and text selection by keyboard and mouse both through the keyboard and mouse both how to select the portion place the cursor at the beginning of the text place the cursor at the beginning of the text that you want to select that you want to select then press down the shift key and press the left mouse button press bow press the shift key and left mouse left mouse button till the end of the text that you want to select okay afterwards 
release all the button. All the button means mouse button, left mouse button as well as shift key also you release. Okay. And selecting a single word. How to select a single line? How to select one sentence? How to select a multiple lines? And how to select a paragraph? And how to select a whole document? Whole document how to select? At this are written in a table. Okay, how to select a single word? Double click the left mouse button on the word that you want to select. Double click on the word that word will be selected. And the how to select a single line? Press the left mouse button in the left margin space of the line. The cursor will change to the right position white arrow and click. Right pointing, right pointing white arrow and then click. Or selecting one sentence. How to select one sentence? Move the cursor and place it on any, any sentence you want to select and then press and hold the control key and then press the left mouse button and click anywhere of in the sentence. Anywhere of the sentence, hold this hold control key and press the click the left mouse button. Then the single sentence will be selected and thus select multiple lines how to select the multiple lines press and hold down the left mouse button on the left side of the sentence left side of the sentence you have to press and hold down the left mouse button and that you want to select and then move up or move up or down up or down the rows you want to select release and then mouse button then move arrow keys you can select the multiple lines also how to select a paragraph triple click using you can select you can double click the left mouse button at the blank space present on the left side of the paragraph or you can triple click you can triple click the left mouse button where anywhere of the paragraph anywhere of the paragraph you can triple click then the whole paragraph will be selected or Double click, left mouse button at the blank space present on the left side of the paragraph. Left side of the paragraph, which paragraph you want to select. Or selecting the whole document. If you want to select whole document, then control plus A. Triple click the left mouse button in the selection area. Selection area you can triple click or Use the keyboard shortcut key control plus A. When you click control and A together you press then the whole document will be selected. Okay. Today this much. Next class I will discuss from deleting the text. Thank you. Have a nice day.